Goldman Sachs says Bitcoin is not a fraud, plans trading. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video we're talking about Goldman Sachs and Bitcoin. So Goldman Sachs are getting into Bitcoin, this is massive massive news guys. In this video I'll be making two key points that Goldman Sachs is trading Bitcoin futures contract and not actually buying and selling Bitcoin and another point is what is the wider implication of it. We're going to be watching uh, some parts of the video of uh, CNBC news fast money and I'll be looking at lots of the news articles to make to give you guys this news and the wider implication of it. Before I get into this video guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, it means a lot to me. I do videos on trading tips, trading signals, uh, price prediction, technical analysis and news like this to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money. If you're a fan of Litecoin, watch the latest video that I put out recently. It's a really good insight into Litecoin and what's going on with Litecoin. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. And um, I also do half a like coin giveaway, so smash that like button, guys, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have so, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. We'll watch this uh, key part of this video where where this guy explains that Goldman Sachs is not buying Bitcoin, they're trading Bitcoin. So it's still a massive news because Goldman Sachs has very big political influence um, in America, in, in the whole world really. All the other banks follow Bitcoin, uh, Goldman Sachs's lead. So Goldman Sachs, this is still a massive news, but there is a misconception of that Goldman Sachs are buying Bitcoin. So Goldman Sachs is not buying Bitcoin, they're trading future contracts. Uh, let's watch this segment. A trading desk that will only be touching derivative products but longer term i can imagine that they're going to be embracing trading of the underlying product right so they, they just they just confirmed that that goldman sachs are trading uh, the future derivatives the future contracts they're not actually trading bitcoin buying and selling bitcoin but i've you've seen my previous videos guys it's still um it's still it's, it's still gonna have a massive impact and I'm 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 really happy with this news, and I'm happy that I've bought Bitcoin. In the previous video, I was late to buy Bitcoin because I was thinking there might be another another dip, but I, I bought in about over nine grand uh, nine thousand. So this gives me more confidence. But let's look into some of the things that's been said. Um, the main reason they've got involved is there's so much demand for customers wanting to buy Bitcoin. It resonates with us when a client says, I want to hold Bitcoin or Bitcoin future because I think it is an alternative store of value. It is not a new risk that we don't understand. It is just a heightened risk that we need to be extra aware of. I had concluded Bitcoin is not a fraud. This is massive turnaround from what the Lloyd Bank Blank, I can't pronounce his name. The CEO of Goldman says because uh, he said that Bitcoin was not for him. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll go through some of the key articles, guys, to give you guys the whole whole news and not just a segment or a one perspective. I'd like to give you guys a whole perspective. So what actually is Goldman Goldman trading? The firm plans to deploy its own capital to buy and sell Bitcoin futures contract and not deliver all forwards or futures with greater flexibility on behalf of their institutional clients. And one of the main Main reasons I think Goldman's going into it because Bitcoin is booming. A lot of people like Coinbase and Binance are doing really well, and there's just some people are worrying that they might take over some of the Wall Street banks and how much money they make. So that's the reason why they're getting into it. And this this article talks about a Goldman Goldman City's clients' interest as a catalyst for this entry into Bitcoin. So a lot of money could be coming into Bitcoin. A broader Bitcoin trading. Goldman's competitors have not shared plans to formally trade Bitcoin. But if Goldman is going into Bitcoin, other companies will follow. Let's watch this bit of this video. Large banks roll out trading desks. I mean, particularly when it's Goldman Sachs, I'm going to expect other banks will follow as well. So Goldman Sachs is so huge, other banks would follow because Goldman Sachs is kind of the leader of the main bank. And it's so, I've said this before, the political influence of Goldman Sachs is ridiculous. People don't like saying it, but Goldman Sachs has a massive impact, impact on the political side of things as well. And they're going to follow not just because it's Goldman Sachs and that's what a lot of banks do is follow what Goldman does, but because this market is so large that you can't ignore it anymore. He just said it again, guys. We are massive. This cryptocurrency fever is spreading, and and more and more people are wanting to buy Bitcoin. And if if people like Goldman's, if companies like Goldman Sachs are getting into this market, it helps bring other people into it as well. I mean, if 
I'm sure that most of these banks have heard about the numbers or have seen the numbers that companies like Coinbase and Binance are putting up. And it, it, there's a bit of selfishness as well from these companies. They're seeing Binance and Coinbase making a lot of money and they don't want to fall behind, which is understandable. And that's why they're getting the fees that Binance um, and Coinbase are making. These in investment Wall Street Bank, they're greedy people. They want to make as much money as possible. They don't want to stay behind. So this this is another bit of thing a bit of the article that I want to share with you. I would not describe myself as a true believer who wakes up thinking Bitcoin will take over the world. For almost every person involved, there has been some personal skepticism brought to the table, which is understandable because I don't want to just give you guys Bitcoin going to the moon, Bitcoin going to the rally. I want to give you guys real news and want to share you guys the whole news. And there are some skepticism in Bitcoin, but their clients want wants it so bad that they have to learn to deliver it. And if they if Bitcoin if Goldman Sachs are getting into it, more and more people are going to go into it. And they're planned. They haven't given us an exact date, but they're going to start doing it soon on behalf of clients so this is exciting time for bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general there's loads of other articles talking into it it's symbolic goldman sachs puts crypto into mainstream because this people with a lot of money big wells can come into bitcoin um, and it's a massive u-turn as well people people was against bitcoin not not liking bitcoin and cryptocurrency and now they're changing their mind to get into bitcoin and cryptocurrency and um, so it's a massive U-turn and it shows the power of Bitcoin that Goldman Sachs, people like companies like Goldman Sachs are getting into it. And I'm sure there's their big, big clients are waiting to buy into Bitcoin. These future contracts will have a massive effect. But I think in the future, Goldman Sachs might and, and their clients might actually want to buy the underlying underlying Bitcoins, which will have an even massive impact. And again, it just confirmed this market is so large, you can't ignore it anymore. And and people might think that Bitcoin is scam or they might say it's a bubble. But it, as it gets bigger, guys, people will be turning into believers. They, they'll, they'll, sometimes at the start, they won't believe it. Later on, they'll get into it. We're the early adopters of Bitcoin and we need to protect it and share it in the right way. And it's been covered by all, all the big news agents, like I've shared at CNN, at CNBC. Most of the big news companies have been sharing it. And also Cointelegraph and Coindesk, the two big crypto news uh, they, they've also shared uh, the crypto company could overtake wall street biggest banks and this is kind of this this is kind of the scare this is probably one of the main reasons because gold goldman sachs and wall street don't really care about other people they care about themselves and their clients and if they can make their themselves and their clients money they want to come into it. and if there's a risk of other um, crypto company taking over them they don't want to miss out so that's probably one of the bigger reasons why they're getting into it and again finally Bitcoin is not a fraud, says Goldman Sachs as he plans to trading. Just to summarize it, I wanted to finish off with this bit. So the two key things I want to share in this video was Goldman Sachs are not actually buying and selling Bitcoin. There might be a misconception. They are trading the underlying Bitcoin futures contracts. And the implication of it is massive. Goldman Sachs, everyone knows who Goldman Sachs is. And as if Goldman gets in, there's going to be other company following it and giving Bitcoin massive and cryptocurrency massive exposure. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very short video to give you guys a quick update. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be many more. I'll be doing many more videos just like this to keep you guys up to date in the crazy world of crypto money. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.